y'all so i just started this smoothie like i call it my smoothie reset where i drink smoothies from for seven to ten days after i need to just reset my body so yeah y'all know thanksgiving just happened and uh yeah it was not pretty it was not pretty um <laughs> i had so much junk it's ridiculous um but yeah all i got to say right now is that i am super i'm already having like bad headaches because i'm craving like refined sugar that's that's what i'm craving like refined refined sugar that's what i want but i can't have it all right y'all i'm about to head to work so i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how i make my smoothies so the first thing I do is get a banana. That is a really good natural sweetener to me. Um, I go ahead and half it, but I'm gonna put the whole thing in there just because it's really good for sweetening. I put mango in next, and you can get whatever fruit you like. I just really love mango, so I went ahead and put extra of that in. And next I'm going to put in the mixed fruit and I was gonna put in the pineapple but the mixed fruit already has the pineapple in it so I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple of handfuls of that and you can add other things to sweeten like honey or agave um, whatever you choose to use but this is just enough for me next I'll go ahead and use kale greens I don't put too much of the kale in because to me kale has a very bitter taste so here you can see about how much I like to put in I don't usually do any more than that um, so yeah the next thing I like to do is put baby spinach in and yes that date is old but I freeze my spinach um, so this spinach is still good for me so um, yeah I'll go ahead and add uh, spinach and you see me here packing it down because as you can see I've got a whole a full container already um, so yeah I just pack that down and get all of that in there and I usually like to try to use two different types of greens but spinach is my go-to the next thing I'm going to use is chia seeds chia seeds is um, they expand when they hit liquid so they are really good for keeping me full um, so I like to put a little bit of those in there so yeah here I'm gonna just scoop and show you guys just the amount that I put in not very much um, because surprisingly they're small but they do have a taste so if you put too many you can definitely taste it the next thing that I'm going to do is put a little bit of peanut butter in. I like to get natural smokers peanut butter. Um, it is just really good. Um, it's just, it takes some getting used to, especially if you don't eat natural peanut butter, but you can't really tell um, when you're putting it in a smoothie. So I'm going to put like a teaspoon or maybe like a little less than a teaspoon in to blend and it just gives it a really good flavor and also adds more protein because I don't use any kind of protein powder when I'm doing this and I do need protein to keep me full and next I'm going to put the base in which is water and uh, I don't use any kind of almond milk or any milk or anything like that yogurt I just I mean I've been used to using water so I just continue to use water um, because it's already sweetened and here you can see how much I added and uh, I already kind of know how much water it needs because I've done this so much but yeah the water is okay for me because I got banana and pineapple so I'm gonna blend 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 here and sometimes it'll get stuck which you'll see here um, which I just usually take it off and um, I usually just kind of shake 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 it um, until I can move that water around and then I continue to blend and usually continues to blend but if it doesn't you can always add more water or milk or whatever you use um, I just don't like to get too much because I don't like it soupy I like it more like a smoothie so yeah I'm just blending and I always blend mine for an extra long time because I don't like chunks of whatever in my smoothie especially like spinach or kale so yeah I like to get that really blended up um, yeah so here you'll go ahead and see my final product so yeah y'all my little Christmas tree is so sad <laughs> Oh my gosh, I need to find something to do with this. I've had it for like three years, but it was always kind of sad looking, but 
Yeah, I just wanted to show y'all how lonely my tree look. What's up, y'all? So, I am back in the car. <laughs> I have the day off, so I feel really good today, y'all. I don't know. I just woke up, and I feel really good. Um, But I'm about to head to Five Below. Uh, comment down below if you've heard of Five Below, um, or if you haven't heard of Five Below, I mean. And tell me what you think it is. I'm going to let you do that right now. All right, uh, Five Below, originally I thought it was an ice cream place. Me and my neighbor were actually just talking about that. I was like, oh, another ice cream place? Why are y'all building another ice cream place? And then I saw a lady come out of there, and she had, like, bags, and they had buggies. And I was like, what is this place? But, yeah, Five Below is a place where everything is $5 and below. And some of the stuff in there, y'all, don't get, like, too excited. Like, they got, like, snacks in there, which I think people buy because they're thinking, oh, it's less than $5. But I'm like, this stuff is less than $5 anyway. So, yeah. Um, that's where I'm headed right now. And, yeah. This is five below. So now I am headed to Hobby Lobby. Um, I've never been to Hobby Lobby, but I feel like it's just going to be one of those stores like TJ Maxx and Ross. is like, if you don't know what you're looking for, you're not going to find it because there's so much stuff in there. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go there. I'm looking for a backdrop. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go and see what they have to offer. Oh my gosh, this store is huge. Let's see. Mm. Nope. Yeah, there's so much stuff in here. Ooh. That I could make a backdrop if I were more creative, but I'm not creative. I mean, I am creative, but not in the realm of making a backdrop. Oh my gosh, somebody help me! <laughs> what is this? Hmm, oh, please look at this. <laughs> this is real cotton, and it's like. <laughs> would y'all buy this comment down below and tell me would you buy this it's like a wreath or no what about these I feel like this is something that you can find in the yard somewhere all of this stuff really honestly look at that <laughs> this is like I'm outside this is all for you guys from outside. All right, y'all, since Hobby Lobby didn't have anything, as you can see, I, I didn't even know what I was looking for in there. It was just too much stuff in there. It's so much stuff in there. I didn't feel like asking anybody. I guess I could have asked somebody. But y'all, y'all, I mean, it's a good, it's a really good place to find whatever you trying to find but what I was trying to find it was lost up in the sauce up in there um, so yeah I'm gonna go to old trusty Walmart Walmart is a trusted trusted place I'll be right back 
bet these people are like, what is she doing? I don't know, child. I don't know. And do y'all notice how at Walmart in the parking lot, it's always a bunch of these black birds? Like, <laughs> is this the meeting place? And they like sit on your car? Like, is this the meeting place for black birds? I don't, I don't, I don't know. But yeah, let me go ahead and see what they got. I'll let y'all know if I find something. So this was the first thing I got, a wall ledge set. And uh, yeah, I don't have much to say about it. It's <clears throat> for my wall. And um, I ended up getting this wall decal. It says, with God, all things are possible. And it's just a removable sticker. And you can just stick it on your wall and that's how it will look. And you guys will probably see that um, within the next video. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Um, I hope y'all have a good day, a good night, or whenever you're watching this vlog. And yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. <laughs>